coming out is, is hard for everyone. Um, I think that even if your family have got an idea or, or they know, it's still coming out and saying it and, and uh, making that public and making your feelings known to your loved ones uh, can be hard. The Jewish uh, community here has a hidden history, which is the history of the LGBT people. However, it was fragmented and um, full of treasures, I did realize, but it needed to be captured before it got lost. I feel that we're starting to be accepted both as Jewish and gay, and that we have something to contribute to the community, to the Jewish community. Um, and I think that's being seen now. We cannot change that which is written in the Torah. We have rules and regulations which have been handed down to us from Mount Sinai. We believe it's divinely inspired, it's been passed on from the Almighty to all of us. We can't, because of whims and fancies, we can't just decide we'll take one bit out, one nut out. If something is fashionable today and it wasn't fashionable a thousand years ago, does it make it a permitted action? LGBT Jews are, you know, in essence the same as other Jewish people. They want to live, they want to love, they want to be able to be free and to embrace the two facets of identity that make them them. Um, and if, we, if the community wishes or um, feels no option but to exclude the LGBT community, then you're automatically um, siphoning off a whole section of the community that will just um, detract and will look elsewhere for um, catharsis and happiness, I guess. My main aim is to actually keep pushing until being gay or lesbian, bisexual or transgender isn't an issue. It doesn't matter what sexuality you are, only that you are who you are and you're Jewish and you're proud of that. And no one questions that. Obviously there is plenty of scriptures that, that at first sight, you know, uh, would promote things like anti-homosexuality um, or, or anti-whatever, anything that's, that's uh, you know, beyond the typical heteronormative or cisgender um, behavior. But um, that's only at first sight and it's a matter, as we said, uh, of interpretation. Homosexuality, lesbian, etc., is not permitted in Jewish law. From the very, very beginning, God said, even to the animals, he said, be fruitful and multiply. He, male and female, he created them. He didn't say he created male to male, female to female. He said male and female, he created them in order pru uravu, be fruitful and multiply and fill up the land. For individuals that, as you say, from the more traditional uh, communities, there are no particular support systems in place right now. I think there are people working on this idea, as far as I know, but that's not just for LGBT individuals. I think there are quite a number of people who would like to live a different life for other reasons, and I think we have to also see that. There has been very little focus on gender identity, and this is something that's, that's only popped up in the past few years. People um, with non-binary identities are people who are, don't necessarily identify with either their biological female or male identity have been left out as a trans person and trans campaigner myself. I can really subscribe to that. And I am very, very, very happy that Rainbow Juice participants came up with this. And so they're backing basically their stories they're backing what, what we want to do with our awareness campaigning. Whether it's a Jew or whether it's a human being, I think the demonstrations that are coming out today for acceptance of minority rule is, is completely wrong. You get more acceptance and more love if you do it quietly and unobtrusively. You'll be accepted much, much more within the society. Why are we trying to drop the, the boundaries? Why are we trying to change the religion? That's all I'm saying to you. Don't come in with your attitude. I think there's still some challenges and some discussions to be had within the um, some orthodox factions. You know, for example, some um, some gay men, for example, when they when they come out are not able to be called up to read from the Torah, or if some um, people are getting divorced because there's a LGBT partner that can can ostracise members of the family 
within the community. You're asking me as a gay or as a lesbian, respect me. Yes, I will respect you, provided you don't insist that I accept your actions as permitted. As you as a person, I'll accept, but your actions I can't accept. We will never ever have same-sex marriages, never in the Orthodox scene. Next 50, 100, 20, 200 years, that is out. It's a man and a woman, that is marriage in Orthodox Judaism. And I have to be categorical about this one. There's no ifs and buts, there'll be no change. There are thousands of things we can think of to make our communities inclusive. And it's not that hard, it's like giving birth to perhaps a few new ideas, a few new little um, diversity babies, but it's possible. And as Conchita said at the Eurovision this year, we are unstoppable. And I think that also applies to our UK Jewish community.